Hi, my name is Vanessa Santiago. I'm a former POWS client and I was in POWS program in 2021 for three months with my emotional support animals. How I got involved with POWS was I had a domestic violence situation in 2020. I had just been released. I was incarcerated for 17 and a half years. And when I paroled, I ended up being in a domestic violence situation with my husband. During the time that I had to leave his house, there was no shelters open. There was no help. And after being incarcerated for 17 and a half years, I knew nothing about how to use a phone, technology, internet. Where I was currently staying at in Queens was not healthy for me because my husband would come to Queens and I was afraid to run into him or him hurt me. I had my animals and they were puppies. The, the Pitbull and Husky are twins, Akita and Achilles. And then she was, she was like two years old. I got the dogs because I needed companionship and you know, I didn't, I wanted a, a reason to keep going forward. That's what my dogs do to me. They help me keep moving because I don't have children and I couldn't find a place to stay with three dogs. There are places like POWs, people and animals living safely, because a lot of people don't know about POWs. They don't even know it exists. They arranged for me to get an interview with the POWs, and I waited like maybe a week, a week and a half, and I got into POWs, and it was like a dream come true. You know, they gave me my own apartment where I can have my animals. The URI provided the food for the dogs, never had to pay for it. They paid for the neutering. They offered, um, like confidentiality, allow, making sure that no one was able to come to this building, which was very important for me because of my situation. POWs has helped me to develop a way of helping others. My girlfriend and I came up with GIA. GIA stands for G-I-A, gift it away. In the place I was working at, they would collect donations, but they would not accept furniture donations. So I said, the next car I come in, I'm gonna take that furniture and I'm gonna give it to someone that needs it. That's how Gia started. We freely collect and donate furniture to communities concerned. Communities concerned could be domestic violence survivors, elderly, senior citizens, um, low income, criminal justice impacted people. All I try to do is try to help people because they, everyone's helped me. People that I didn't even know helped me. And that means like, wow, like you don't get that. I um, decided to do my master's because I wanted to become a social worker, but due to my past history, they denied me in five schools to do social work. So I asked the, um, the student advisor and she said, do legal studies because then it opens the doors. You could work with HR, which is human resource. You could do uh, paralegal, you can do this, do that. And I did. And I ended up getting a 4.0. I made the D's list about six times and I got my master's in legal studies. I did this in the midst of all this, moving to pounds, the animals. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you if you want to do it. So I feel that if you are in a domestic violence situation and you have animals, reach out to Pals. They'll help you find a way. Even if there's no space in Pals, they'll help you find a place. So I think it's good to um, get involved with Pals. I love Pals.